Number one is uh, Business by Design has helped me build a thriving online membership of growth-minded international actors. That's Actors Audition Club, where we help professional actors shoot auditions without stress, without tech troubles, without having to bug their family members, ultimately so that our, our clients can book more roles and book their dream roles in TV, film, and theater. And right now, Actors Audition Club currently has around uh, 30, I think it's 33 members. That brings in around $1,000 a month in recurring uh, revenue through the membership, plus anywhere on a monthly basis from four to 6000 a month from our regular one-on-one -on -one audition coaching services. Um, uh, number two, it's helped me launch and host a three-day live workshop. Uh, we did it last year in January and again in July called Audition Hero, where we taught th that international community of actors how to tr transform their auditions, how to book more dream roles, how to have more impact in their life. Uh, and that Audition Hero workshop, it, it helped launch our new enrollments into Actors Audition Club both in 2022 and in 2023. Um, the other thing that it's done is um, using Business by Design systems and processes and step-by-step -step playbooks for their digital business. Uh, business by Design and James Coaching has helped me host and produce uh, more than 80 stand-up comedy shows through Laughing Vikings and Comedy Alley. Uh, I follow Business by Design's plug-and-play checklists to help us build and optimize our website, our sales pages, our email marketing, social media marketing. And those shows, they've, they over the last year and a half, they brought in more than $15,000 in additional revenue while creating work for over 100 stand-up comedians. So that's something I'm really proud of. Uh, a, bringing joy and laughter to people during a time when there's a lot of uncertainty. And B, um, not only providing income and revenue for my own business, but it's provided me to create a platform where I'm, I'm literally providing work and income for other comedians, which is a, a huge part of our mission. Our mission at Laughing Vikings is to uplift, inspire, and empower a global audience by helping actors and comedians uh, share their stories via TV, film, and live performances. Uh, so I'm super proud about that. Also, the, uh, the BBD systems have helped us produce, promote, and grow our weekly podcast you're watching it right now. Uh, we rebranded to Inside the Audition. We've got, this is episode 137. Uh, we've done this now since episode 19. We've been here each and every week. So huge thank you to, to BK Broiler, Silent Brandon watching. Um, I've never done anything. That's, what is that? 137 minus 19. Uh, quick math. Help me. Um, what is that? That's over a hundred, like almost 120 episodes, 120 weeks in a row for two years in a row. We've showed up every week. I never did anything every week for two years in a row, nothing, <laughs> but we're here each and every week to support you, to help you, to inspire you, to help you grow your career. Uh, and that, a big chunk of that is as a result of James and his training. Uh, we've also followed BBD systems to help build and optimize our website and sales pages to sell digital copies of my standup album, Silly Goose. Uh, that generated over an extra $1,000 in revenue for me. Um, Business by Design has also helped build our customer email list of over 1,000 people uh, to help us so that we can market the podcast, we can market our programs and services. With a few clicks of the button, uh, we can send our messaging and send our offers out to thousands of people. Um, and that's been huge too. Also, the reason that's important if you're watching right now, if you don't have an email list, your own, like as an actor or as a performer, your fan list, your email list um, that you can reach out to people. Yeah, you might have great social media followings, but you don't own those. You At any point, Facebook could shut that down. TikTok could get banned. Instagram can change the algorithm. So yeah, it's great to build the social media side of things. But if you don't build your own business and build your own email list, you don't own any of that. Meaning at some point, some executive in Silicon Valley can take it all away from you and just say, you know what, we're shifting it, we're changing it, we're putting a paywall, now you got to pay to use Facebook or pay to use Twitter. So you don't have control over it. But when you build your own business, build your own following, build your own email list, you can get to the point where you have control over your career, you can send out an email blast to book shows, you can send an email blast out to fans, to clients, uh, to pro producers, to bookers. Uh, and you can create that money on demand by being proactive, by going after opportunities rather than just sitting back, waiting for emails to fall in your lap where a booker or a casting director or someone wants to give you a job. Um, it's also helped um, 
with our local hiring process through, again, through Business by Design. Uh, James has helped me through our local hiring process. We've hired a team of actors who work as freelance audition coaches. They help us build our community inside our audition club uh, here in um, here in Toronto. We got Brandon Knox. Uh, we got Cheryl Poirier, uh, Sebastian Sage. Uh, we've had several more in the past who have come and gone and, and moved on to other opportunities. Um, in the States, we've got Aaron Elizabeth Reed and Moline, uh, Monine Daly. So we're building a team. And I've, I'm glad to say that James's teachings have helped us do that. We also followed those hiring process to outsource and hire a virtual assistant who now handles all of our social media posting for Laughing Vikings and Actors Audition Club. This one, this will blow your fucking mind right now. If you're watching this and you're, you're one of those people who's struggling or resisting with social media, you know you need to build a following on social media and you, you're seeing everyone blow up on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok – uh, and seeing that following open new doors. Like if you're a comedian, you've seen comedians blow up where they've got a million people. Now they can book a show in any city in, in North America because they have that critical fan base online. Um, but to do that is a lot of time too. So you might be struggling. Well, I can't spend, I'm spending 30 hours a week on social media management. I'm, I'm now a social media manager. Um, well, business by design and help you with that too. So, uh, our virtual assistant helps with graphic design, with, with our video editing, with content scheduling, and actually posting across 12 platforms. Have you ever thought, oh, shit, another platform? What the fuck? Now I got to get on YouTube Reels now. Now it's TikTok. What else? And every time they come out with a new thing, it's, it's virgin territory, and there's a huge land grab and a huge opportunity as a new platform blows up. But it's also, oh, fuck, how the hell am I going to spend another extra five, 10 hours uh, to do this? So that has been a huge relief, like the weight off my shoulders, you would not believe um, 10, 20, 30 hours a week that I'm now able to spend on higher value activities like auditioning, like rehearsing, like booking shows, like being on set, like being on stage, because uh, ultimately, if you're an actor, or you're a performer, you're not here to spend your days clicking and clacking on the keyboard spending an hour crafting the perfect social media post is you want to be on stage you want to be on set you want to be living the life of your dreams um, when you're not um, on set and on stage so building a team is a huge part of business by design you can build your team by design uh, and then overall one of the massive things and again this might be bigger than all the tactical stuff it might be bigger than all the money that james has helped me with but he's helped me elevate my mindset so that now I, I again still a work in progress every day kind of slip back a little bit sometimes when I wake up like most people I wake up and the feeling is is not yay I'm alive and I get to do this sometimes it's uh, uh, another day but uh, with James's help um, I'm operating closer and closer as an abundant thriving digital CEO a thriving artist taking control of my business um, and uh, helping create the, the future of my dreams and building that mission of uplifting, inspiring and empowering a global audience by helping other actors and comedians share their stories and succeed in the business themselves. You guys listening to this episode um, and all of our members through Actors Audition Club, Laughing Vikings and uh, Audition Hero. So uh, this, this has been huge for us. And that's also one thing I want to say is a big shift for you in your life, uh, and this was something that I'm still going through, but as a performer, so easy to be a, um, a solopreneur or a lone wolf, and you can just be constantly thinking about yourself, where you're like, how do I get the next gig? How do I get the next audition? How do I book that next role? How do I make a little more income? How do I move from day player to supporting to lead? Uh, how do I get in with that bigger agency? How do I get those producers to, to see me? How do I get those bookers to see me? It's all me, 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 me. Selfish as fuck, which is what you need to do a little bit because, yeah, you are a solo premier. You need to fight for yourself. You need to be your, your number one fan. Uh, you need to feel confident and bold and audacious to make those big steps. But you also, at some point, you'll make a massive shift when you start to think about team and you start to think about community. Some of the biggest growth opportunities that I've had is where I'm, I actually don't think every day about myself. I don't, I'm not thinking every day, 
ooh, do I need to book that role? Do I need to book that show? I'm equally thinking about Brandon and Sebastian and Cheryl and Aaron and Monin and all of our members. Every time a member comes in here and is recording an audition, I know their spouse often. I know that they have kids. I want to see them succeed. That Many of them are my friends and have been my friends through stand-up and acting for a long time. So I'm now thinking, how can we raise the tide for all of these boats? How can we make things better for everyone? And tying into the mission and purpose of, I'm not just doing this so I can book a role, so I can make some money and pay a bill. I'm doing this so I can follow my purpose, which is to uplift, inspire, and empower a global audience and to, to make life better on earth for everybody, uh, to bring joy and laughter and storytelling to people. Um, and everyone remembers during the pandemic, when we all had nothing to do, what did we do? We listened to podcasts and we watched shows and we watched movies and we watched stand-up specials. And we did all those things to help us escape from sometimes the harsh, uncertain realities that the 3D world on earth today can, can face us with and, and can uh, deliver to us. So um, that's my rant on business by design. So thank you for hearing that. Thank you, James, too. Like, it's like, I'm going to get emotional, but um, the day that I actually get to see James Wedmore in person and like, I'm going to, I'm going to like grab him and hold him up and high five the fuck out of him. Just thank you, James, the impact that you're having on my life and in my business and by extension through all of our members and all of our actors is massive. Thank you.